China, the world's most populated country. 1.4 billion people and only 4% are Christian. From childhood, children are taught atheism, and for years, Bibles had to be smuggled in. Preaching the good news was illegal and dangerous, but times have changed. Scott Egemeyer is targeting five provinces of China that are now the most accessible for mass evangelism. In 1985, the Lord gave me a vision saying, tell them, tell them, tell them. God gave this compassionate message to Scott, a vision that sealed his fate forever to share the gospel. Scott has given his life for the work of the ministry with a passion for the Chinese. David Boxbaum is a famous American attorney who has lived in China 35 years practicing all issues of Chinese law. Because of his knowledge of law and government, David has been able to open doors allowing Scott to legally minister the gospel in ways that would otherwise be impossible. I know Scott for uh, at least two years and uh, I know the work he's doing in China, particularly the work with orphans and and other disadvantaged people, and I think his work is excellent. And um, I think he's a good man, good person, and um, undoubtedly a good Christian. Um, I, I, as you know, China was, was under um, communism control since 1949, and uh, initially the communists were intolerant of religion. And a long time has passed, and many people were not exposed to the, to the Word of God. And uh, at the present time, where there's more a relaxing of restrictions on religion, there's an opportunity now to bring, bring the Word of God to uh, the Chinese people, and it's an, an awesome and important opportunity. And uh, Scott's work on, on this regard also is something that's very valuable. In and I think uh, his work deserves support, support of everybody. So if you can support him, I would certainly recommend it. Hello, my name is Scott Egemeyer. My mission is to bring the good news to China. My three-point strategy for doing this is first, giving Bibles to the most receptive provinces of China. Second, is reaching the most desperate of orphans. This helps open the hearts of the Chinese. Third, it's training the nationals. Re-educating them opens their minds to the truth. Are you Lord God? We have found that using various kinds of media translated into Chinese is a powerful interactive tool. That's the first time I saw a movie about God. It just uh, burst into tears. And it's it's like um, I can't forget it, two years even later. two years later. <laughs> Singing in English is a major event for the Chinese people. As they participate, the singing turns into worship and they fall in love with Jesus. <laughs> but when you don't know the truth, maybe, maybe, maybe you follow more on God. Teaching from the Bible builds faith and equips Chinese nationals for the work of the ministry to their own people. But after 
after three days, I will raise from the dead. He says, nobody takes my life. But I give my life. And I also show you I have the power to take it up again. So I realized that Scott's missionary work is so important to us. And it's so great he could help the orphans. You know, another situation about orphans in China is that China people, they love boys, not girls. So especially for some countryside, when they have a baby girl, they will just throw it away. It's so sad. But Scott's work could help them out. With the help of lawyers, media, and government agencies, Scott is able to penetrate national issues and to be led to the neediest of orphans. After meeting the orphans and the locals, Scott listens, ministers, and prays for them. Needs are assessed to start implementing the giving to orphans, a future with hope. Father, I pray for her right now in Jesus' name, Lord, that you give her hope and a miracle to have mercy in her life. In Jesus name. Show her your love and your mercy in Jesus' name. After needs are established, Scott secures avenues of funding and schedules meetings. Well, I asked him what he needs now. He wants he need a home. He's a homeless child. And he has no parents, no daddy, no mommy. He provides contacts and local accountability. Hello, I'm Cherry Chen from China. I'm SCAS interpreter. We have had the opportunity to pray and give Bibles to many people. I'm so happy to know about Jesus Christ. And even some of my students say, oh, uh, Miss Jane, could we know more about God? Could you tell me, uh, could you tell us more about God's story? I, I could, but perhaps it's through Scott. Since I know Scott is doing such a good missionary work in China, and um, I understand the local Chinese, they, they are eager to get Bible, you know, it's very hard. It's not easy in China to get a Bible. And but Scott gave me, gave me some Chinese edition, and I gave some of them to my students. They are so happy to have them. I told the story in English because I'm an English uh, teacher. I told my students about the uh, story of Jesus Christ's birth. It's hard to believe that. Only two of them of 200 know about the Bible. So, Scott did help me because they are eager to have some Bible and Scott gave me some copies of Bible so that I could give my students. Scott, you are doing a great job for China. Thank you so much. Can you give her a bridge? Yes, yes. You can use your Thank you. very nice to you. You have been here for a long time. She came by here. She made the man. I like this one. I always like this one. China. Not for sale in China. Yes. Oh. I'm always looking for it for a long, long time. Okay. Finally, today she got it. Ah, happy. Very, very happy. Very, very happy. Re-educating the Chinese people helps to dispel the image that portrays Americans as bad. By doing so, they become more receptive. Friendship is created by giving gifts and inviting the people to dinners and other enjoyable functions. The result is a better relationship and cooperation among believers. Teaching builds a firm foundation of biblical truths and moral principles through meetings and home studies.
He has 99 sheep. One of the sheep get away, run out in the mountains. What's he do? He leaves the 99 to go find the one that's lost. In the same way, I tell you, there is rejoicing. I ask you, Jesus, Jesus, come into my life. Show me this new life. Show me this new life. Give me the power. Give me the power. That's the feeling. Let me know. Chinese people. We need God in China so much. Thank you. Will you please help us to bring the gospel to China? Please help us fulfill the call, getting Bibles training the nationals.